yes, our quarterbacks do quite a bit, you know, so uh, with uh, protection checks and checking plays, and that's stuff that he was limited in last year. You know, could, knew the base offense, but couldn't get himself, couldn't, couldn't get us out of a bad play or get himself into a better protection necessarily. We had the old line do most of the calls last year, and he's taking a lot of that under his wing this year and make sure we get into the right plays or you know, protect himself against certain situations so we can make the right play happen. That's what he's really grew on this year. Last year he wasn't very vocal. He was just kind of a silent leader, just worked by example, that type of thing, which is always good as you first start out. And uh, this year he's kind of taken upon himself to you know, get after guys a little bit, get after those younger receivers and, and O-line and make sure they're doing the right thing, you know, vocally, which is which is what you need a quarterback to be. He's a natural leader. You're in that spot. You're talking all the time. They're listening to you. So he's really just taking command of the huddle and, uh, you know, on and off the, the field, just taking command of those guys and making sure they're doing the right things at the right times. We've been doing really well. Offense look is going to be looking good this year. Uh, we should be running the ball well. Uh, Kahari coming back is big for us. Him and Marcus. Obviously, they've been doing a good job. Um, our offensive line's coming together. Uh, we're going to be young, but they've been doing well. Uh, Jimmy Marks is doing a really good job kind of leading them and, and bringing them together as a whole. And then uh, our receiving core, we should have a lot of weapons this year. Uh, Terrell, Abide, you know, we got we got a bunch of guys coming back. Uh, we've got a couple new guys filtering into the system, so we should should have a lot of weapons. Well, you know, I'm, I'm really working this year on, on being more of a vocal leader. Uh, I believe in leading by your actions on the field. Demonstrating, showing everybody uh, what you need to do and, and what the attitude you need to take is. Whenever you have a uh, older group in backfield, they really puts pressure, especially off the quarterback. Um, now our quarterback is also, you know, has some good experience, which also helps. But uh, having the guys behind them, you know, uh, Kari and Bagley, you know, for example, are it's pretty. You know, it's a nice little safety net. You don't have to give him much. He's a self-motivated player, so he's, you know, he you know, he came back in even better shape. And you know, honestly, we wanted to get him uh, get him ready for the long haul. You know, we uh, got bogged down a little bit with uh, some injuries and stuff like that last year. So, you know, it's, uh, you know, we don't uh, we expect to you know give him you know, probably fewer carries than he's used to. Uh, we want to make sure he's you know 100 percent for the whole season. They're, yeah, they're different, you know. Uh, Kari is a, is a slasher. You know, he uh, he's, a, he's a really good back, and and uh, Bagley's a, a, a you know, kind of wide, you know, wide body kid. He's tough to bring down, uh, and you know, he can he can really attack and line scrimmage, do some really good things. So, uh, you know, they're both power backs in our opinion, uh, but they both bring unique skills to the to the skill set, and, and they both are, are going to help us out tremendously. I mean, we just mix it up. You know, we go out there. He, you know, if he sees something, he'll let me know, like, oh, I saw this, that, or if he run the ball, I'll tell him what I saw. You know, we just coach each other up as it go and tell him what we need to work on. You know, we don't sugarcoat nothing. We both need to get better and go out there and lead. So that's how we do We just go from there. I just come out and be a vocal leader last year. I was leading by example. Now I got to be vocal, be a hype man, you know, get these young guys, tell them they ain't high school no more. This is, this is, big, this is a big show now, you know. It's time to grow up, be grown man. You know, just being a big brother to everybody. I just came coming back. I gotta be consistent. I gotta come back, work on pass pro, working on cutting. You know, just stuff that I didn't do last year that was good. And I gotta work on that. So getting in the film room, watching film, seeing what I need to work on more. So like I was just saying, pass pro and cutting and all that good stuff. We got some young guys up front, so they're working hard to get their blocks and stuff like that. But we have two good backs that can uh, sometimes things break down a little bit, they can always make plays happen. I mean, it doesn't happen too often, but they're there and they've been doing that for a while, so they're good at that. Anytime you have a good running game, it always helps you pass game, so they kind of feed off out of that way, and uh, they both know what's going on back there. So. I'm just ready to play for real, you know. Senior year, you got to leave it all on the field. Come out every day, every practice, you gotta, can't take nothing for granted, you know. So that's a big thing for me, just be out here every day working hard.